The commemoration of Bloody Sunday began with a requiem mass at St. Mary's in the Cragen Estate, and then 200 people walked into the city's Catholic cemetery to lay wreaths on the graves of the 14 who died in the clashes with the paratroops. Though that was a year ago, the relatives complain inquests have never been held. The programme for the day, organised by the Civil Rights Association, centred on Rossville Street Flats, the scene of the shooting, where a new memorial was unveiled this afternoon. Vanessa Redgrave read a poem. Once again. But twice as many people joined the separate march of the Provisionals over the route that last year's parade had taken. The army were under strict orders to stay out of sight as thousands tramped and jeered past the military positions in the bogside gasworks. It had been hoped by the organisers that today the city would be free of violence. But by late afternoon, the army were being stoned, the water cannon was out, and rubber bullets were being fired. At dusk, cars and a shop were on fire as troops clashed with youths, some still wearing their black armbands. <laughs> 